All right, quick video here. I have uh, charging off of my Ford Focus Electric. Uh, the car is on right now. I am charging my Zero FX um, through an inverter plugged on the battery. The the car is on. I'm only getting about 13.1 volts. Normally that would be with no load. That's 14.4. So it's definitely putting some kind of load uh, on the uh, the DC DC converter on the car. Um, the output on the kilowatt, the output of the inverter is okay, one, around 117. Um, the wattage that the bike is pulling is around 670. Um, this has only been running about three minutes right now, and I have a little um, temperature gauge here. So if I scan the inverter, that's already 100 and... Um, 130 degrees at the hot spots. The cables are like really, really, I don't know why it's not scanning it, but they're very, very hot to the touch, almost too hot to hold on to. Uh, it's only 10 gauge. This is what came with it. It's not the best. I'm just using the clamps. Um, I got to figure out a better way. I'll probably get some eight gauge wire at least and figure out a way to get them more solidly mounted. Um, the inverter itself is rated 1500 watt and I think they claim 3000 watt peak and it's nowhere near capable of that I can run it to about eight or nine hundred watts okay if I go over a thousand it'll just shut off um, I've gotten nowhere near 1500 um, so it can't charge my bigger zero even with the, the, the with the 1300 watt onboard charger but with this one at 600 watts it's getting really warm let me take another reading here, just on the top of it. Yeah, that's 107. It's not too bad at the moment. There's 140. For the I think all the uh, transistors are on the side there, 160. So the temperature on this is going up really quick. Um, but in a pinch, I could theoretically drive my car out and uh, get a little bit of charge into the zero. So that was the test for today.